Well, Phoebe Denivore really does always keep us on our toes. We never know which country she's currently in, and we love her whole aura of mystery right now. But it seems like our own Daphne isn't currently on the set for the filming of season three. Could it be that she's stepping away from filming? Don't go anywhere because you are about to find out. For everything you need to know about Phoebe's travels and the new season of Bridgerton, keep watching. First up, where is Phoebe Denivore right now? The Bridgerton actress is currently in India. As filming for the new season begins in London, Phoebe's oceans away and we wonder why. We've heard some news that the actress is working on a new project that appears to be quite the journey. If you've been following her, she's recently posted pictures from Cairo, New York City, and now what appears to be Asia. Early in July, the Manchester-born celebrity posted a picture dump of a collection of images from her stay in New York City with the statement, Next Up Cairo. The actress best known for playing Daphne Bridgerton took her fans on a fresh guessing game story in July when she visited her third nation. She shared two experiences and they were pretty much your average tourist snaps, the first of which was a video while riding in a rickshaw through the streets, a typical Indian experience you must have when you visit for sure. The second post was of the stunning Humayun tube in New Delhi. Well, it seems like the 27-year-old has been really enjoying herself. But what about the filming? Why is she in India during the filming of season three? Fans on Twitter and Instagram were pretty confused about her current whereabouts and what that means for the next season. Why is Phoebe Dinovore in India? One person tweeted, are they shooting here? OMG Bridgerton, at Bridgerton. Another person commented, quoting co-star Simone Ashley as Kate Sharma in season two of the popular show. Phoebe Dinovore took that I'm going for India extremely serious hashtag Bridgerton. Assuming Phoebe is there on set, a third person chimed in, OMG, she's in India. And here's the thing, Phoebe wasn't included in the promotional trailer, and that's quite a stir. Since the production for season three has begun and her character hasn't been seen in the video or on the set, should we be worried that she's not a part of the third season at all? No one from the show has confirmed this, and Phoebe has also not posted anything regarding not being there. So it's safe to assume that she will be a part of it, not to mention she's not the direction the new season will be going in anywhere. Next up, will Simon be coming back? Maybe it's not the end yet. We know that reggae John Page said he was prepared to move on after portraying Simon Bassett in Bridgerton's first season. But is his choice final? There's really no one who can match the Duke's smolder. When season one of the Netflix drama debuted, we absolutely loved Page and his character, the Duke of Hastings. And we saw how his on-screen relationship with Daphne came to an end in the season finale, when the pair reconciled and welcomed their son, Augie. Fans really wanted more cutesy moments, but we found out Page wasn't even going to be in season three. The Hollywood Reporter reported that the actor turned down an offer to return for $50,000 per episode. And don't go anywhere because we have a lot more deets for you right here. So even though the focus shifted to Anthony's romance with Kate Sharma in Bridgerton's return, the Duke of Hastings was still on everyone's mind. As Daphne made the adjustment to motherhood, Dinevor's visits in the second season gave the audience some closure. After Parting from the streaming sensation, the British actor joined the cast of The Grey Man and Dungeons and Dragons. The 34-year-old even disclosed that after leaving the Regency-era drama, he made the decision to leave the Bridgerton cast group chat. Ouch! So reggae Jean Page appears to have permanently moved on from the Duke of Hastings. So sorry, Bridgerton fans. When asked how he'd feel if the Shonda Rhimes produced romance recast the character of Simon, he was pretty chill with it. Page stated that the cast was free to do as they like, and he and Rhimes agreed that the way Simon's arc was resolved at the end of the first season was spot on. Can't say we disagree with them. And finally, who will the new season focus on? Well, it seems like the relationship between Colin Bridgerton and Penelope Featherington, or Lady Whistledown as we know her, 
Summer will take center stage as the new season returns to our screens. As you'll remember, the eldest daughter of the family, Daphne Bridgerton, was the subject of the first season. This came out in December 2020. The second season, which started in March, centered on Anthony Bridgerton, the family's oldest member. It focused on his hunt for a bride, which led him to find Kate Sharma. If you've read the Julia Quinn series, you might have noticed that the series is no longer moving in the sequence of the books on which the season's based. This was a choice made by the producers to focus on Colin and Penelope's relationship. So the third season will actually follow the fourth book in Quinn's series. If the series was to follow her books in order, an offer from a gentleman would have been the story for season three. It was a Cinderella-like tale of Benedict's romance with Sophie Beckett, an Earl's daughter put into servitude by her vengeful stepmother. Fans of the Bridgerton books may find this surprising, but the show's creative team has mentioned in recent interviews that it doesn't need to take the same route, and Rhymes herself hinted that the show doesn't have to proceed in the same chronological order as the books, as long as they do each of the siblings and their stories right. In other Bridgerton news, when can we expect the new season? So it goes without saying, season three of Bridgerton needs to be released stat. And Netflix definitely has the motivation to do just that, as the show's second season broke all previous records to become the most watched English language TV show on the streaming site. And the creative team has already begun working, so Bridgerton might return sooner than we expect. So rejoice, my fellow Bridgerton fans. We might start seeing brand new episodes as early as the spring or summer of 2023. The third season also has a video dispatch from the set that allows our favorite characters and hair and makeup walking around a classic British mansion. Talk about living the dream, sheesh. The Bridgertons, minus Daphne of course, Lady Danbury, and the Queen are just a few of the many characters in the video. What else do we know about the plot for the future season? seasons. Everything's up for grabs in future seasons as we've officially deviated from the books. Season 4 might even revisit Benedict's love story, or maybe the creators will just switch to a different Bridgerton sister altogether. In that case, the lead could be Eloise or perhaps Francesca. Francesca is expected to play a larger role in season 3, so her story might be coming up first. But for now, Penelope will reportedly begin the season in the same temper as the second season. She's absolutely furious at Colin for letting her go and still refusing to speak to Eloise. What we do know about the plot is that she'll be putting all of her efforts into finding a partner because being married will provide her with more independence. After all, she isn't going to stop being Lady Whistledown. But we saw how Daphne struggled with the social season and chances are Penelope will too. And finally, who's joining the cast for the upcoming season? Well, we know that reggae Jean Page is gone for good and we're still on the fence about Denevor. But are we going to be seeing any new faces? As per deadline, Hannah Dodd will appear in the upcoming season as Francesca, the sixth eldest Bridgerton child. The ton actor Ruby Stokes, who portrayed the part for the previous two seasons, is leaving to star in Lockwood & Co. on Netflix. The British actress most recently portrayed the younger Sophie Whitehouse in David E. Kelly's Netflix anthology Anatomy of a Handle. And get this, she'll also star alongside Millie Bobby Brown in the Enola Holmes sequel. So we're in good hands here, folks. Even though Francesca's story is the sixth book in the Bridgerton series, we'll get to spend some time with the character who hasn't been around much. With filming on its way, some other characters will also be introduced. First up, Marcus Anderson, who will be portrayed by Daniel Francis. He's going to be a pretty interesting character who will attract both interest and annoyance from the women of the ton. You might have seen him before as he's best known for his role as Dave Shaw in the thriller Stay Close on Netflix. The next addition would be Sam Phillips, who will portray Lord Debling, an eccentric man with some major wealth. You may recognize him from seasons three and four of The Crown. And James Foon completes the trio by joining the cast as Harry Dankworth, a handsome man whose good looks make up for his lack of intelligence. And hey, we might be seeing a different Simon now too. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Daphne will be there for season three? And if so, how will her story play out now? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.